To watch Jake playing with his older brother William, it's hard to tell anything is wrong. The golden. What is this? But Jake walks gingerly through the park, his big brother always by his side, holding his hand, guiding him through the maze of slides, swings, and walking bridges. Doctors diagnosed Jake last May, on Mother's Day, with Burkett's lymphoma, a rare and rapidly growing cancer that most often strikes children and young adults. Jake's cancer is now in remission, but doctors told the Kinslingbury family his tumor crushed his optic nerve. His mom says Jake sees nothing at all. He will never see again. To go through a cancer treatment, the chemotherapy, and be taken away from your family and your friends and everything that is familiar to you would be hard, but to do it suddenly with no eyesight is... It's pretty remarkable that he, he was still able to smile and, and giggle and he gave me a lot of strength going through this. Jake is more interested in talking about his birthday party next week than his battle with what he calls the yucky bugs. And I'm going to be four. Jake spent nearly six months in a Halifax hospital. While there, Kinslingbury would tell her son doctors were giving him a special medicine that, like superheroes, would help him fight the cancer. He has such an incredible personality that he just wants to get on and play and be, be Jake. Um, and he's not going to let anything stop that. But his mom does worry. What does the future hold for her little boy? What challenges will he face growing up blind? Hello? Jake is already learning Braille, and his family has connected with specialized teachers to give him the skills he'll need. No limitations because of the vision. They would learn, they would develop strategies and build their skill comparable to everyone else. The difference is I would use my vision, they would use all their senses to build their skill. Kislingbury says she only has to look at the support her family has received from across Prince Edward Island to know her boy is going to be okay. We have moments where it's bad and moments where it's good, and but knowing at the end of the day that we still get to love him and cuddle him and kiss him and hear him laugh, it's that's the best medicine. Wayne Thibodeau, CBC News, Cornwall. Do you want to take a picture? Yeah. I think they got lots of pictures. Yeah. Hey, Casey. Casey. What's it like whenever your brother? Tell me what it's like whenever your brother's taking.